Wastelanders, and hello, Starfish Central. Hello, Jewel Smith. <laughs> we have a special guest in the Wasteland today. I am joined by Starfish Central, who has a YouTube channel with Fallout 4 games. And gosh, what all? What do you do on your channel? Tell us. Oh, uh, do a wide variety of games. The Crew, The Last Guardian. Uh, I've got some GTA 5 videos. Um, I cover some of the PlayStation Plus games every month. Uh, just a bit of everything, really. Yeah. Well, that's how I know anything about GTA 5 is watching your channel because I've never played it. <laughs> but I watch your <laughs> GTA 5 videos so I can see what it's all about. I've done a fair few of them. I think about oh, yeah. 161 or something like that. It's, it's a lot. Well, you're in the middle of doing a... Uh, a Fallout 4 settlement tour too, right? Yeah, that's right. I've just uh, recently started doing that. Um, it was during one of your live streams and uh, I mentioned about my old settlement tours and I mentioned that I didn't have um, an audio commentary with them and you says, oh, you know, why don't you do them with an audio commentary? So I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> so that's, that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, well, I want to see. I want to see all the settlements. I think it's more fun when I can hear you talk about them and, you know, talk about why you do what you do and explain how and why and what you've got going on there and everything. I like the audio commentary. Oh, all right. So you can hear both of us. This, is, this video is a bit of a test or this live stream, I should say, is a bit of a test to see if you can hear both of us talking because we're doing party chat because Starfish is in the UK and I am in the US so we are not sitting in the same room together <laughs> but uh, a few thousand miles apart <laughs> yeah but we're gonna see if we can oh why is she sleeping on uh, I'm gonna see if we can uh, figure out this party chat thing and maybe play some games together or do some kind of I don't know, some kind of live streaming sessions we can talk about Fallout 4 or other games, maybe. I might play The Crew, because that's one that you like, right? That's one of your favorite games? Uh, yeah, it's one of, the, one of the games that I'm actually doing uh, videos on at the moment. And I've never played it. I've only ever watched your videos. So uh, I think there's a free demo on PlayStation. So maybe for the next Try It Tuesday... I will play that one and you can tell me what to do. <laughs> you can help me help it's, me play the game. Easy. Well, it's a racing game, right? Is that yeah. what it is? I you, have You're not used to racing games then. No, I think I've played maybe Mario Kart. <laughs> I think I've played that at some point in my life or maybe we used to have a Wii. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never uh, actually played on a Nintendo Wii. Yeah, we used to have a Wii. Well, it just that sounded funny when I the way I in my own mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because in Britain a Wii is a, is, is a pee bag. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I used to have a Wii. Uh, yeah, I used to have the console, and uh, I think there were some racing games on that that I used to play with my kids. I've got people here. All right, it says sixteen people. But somehow, I don't know if you can, if you're watching me. Oh, County Crossing. Okay, yeah. 16. Um, I'm just messing about here because, like I said, this is really just a test for us to test the party chat and figure out how that works and make sure the sound levels sound good. So I just loaded up Fallout 4. This is Tuesday, so it's supposed to be a Try It Tuesday, and I'm going to play Unravel in a little bit. Have you ever played Unravel? No, I've, I've never actually heard of that game. What type of game is that? I think it's a side-scroller puzzle game. You're a little creature. I think his name is Yarny. And it's kind of like the little sack puppet, sock puppet, sack boy little thing from Little Big Planet. Oh, from, yeah. Yeah, but you're this little critter, and he runs around, but... um. He runs out of yarn as he runs through, I guess. He unravels. 
And so you have uh, to solve the puzzle uh, before he runs out of yarn or something, I, I guess. I don't know. I think that's why it's called Unravel. So I'm going to check it out and see what that's like, because there's a free demo for that on PlayStation. But I think the crew also has a free demo. I don't want her sleeping outside here, so I'm going to... I'm going to tell her to go sleep indoors. Different games in your PlayStation store to, to what we get here in the UK. Oh, yeah? Yeah. When I, when I sort of look through and people, you know, mention certain games, and then I check and you, you don't seem to get them. Oh. It's like the PlayStation Plus okay. games. Occasionally, um, you will either get a different game for us or we'll get a different game to you. Because a few months back, uh, Abzu was one of the games, and we didn't get that. And I was a, a bit disappointed uh, until someone said, uh, later on in the year, it will be the other way around. Well, we'll get that game, and they'll, uh, and the USA will get a diff you know, the game that we had. Oh, okay. Oh, well, so, well, the uh, Unravel is not a PlayStation Plus game. Unravel is just a free demo that happens to be in the... Uh... Well, I don't know. I mean, do you still get free demos even if you're not a PlayStation Plus member? Are there free demos in there? I I think it's only if you're a PlayStation Plus member. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know. Well, maybe that's why I got it then. I mean, there's the free games. Like this month, there's Infamous Second Son. Yeah, and Child of Light. Oh, is that the uh, other one? Downloaded both. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, sort of like a cartoony role-playing side, sort of 2D role-playing game. Okay. Um, but yeah, Unravel was just available as a free demo. So that's why I was going to do that one. I'm trying to figure out, this guy is standing here at County Crossing like he can't get into his bed. So maybe I need to make him a different bed. I don't understand why the settlers have such a hard time figuring out how to get <laughs> into their beds. But let's see if I can fix this here. Alright, there you go. I'm going to scrap that. Alright, i got to build some more food here. Are you watching? Can you see my live stream on... on uh, I, mean, I know you can't yeah. see it on PlayStation 4, but are you watching on your tablet or something? Is that... Yeah, yeah. That's oh, okay. Okay. Sure. So Get you can see, can see me. <laughs> okay. So you can yes. see what yes. I'm doing. We, just, we can't really play together, but you can at least watch. So if I play the crew, yeah. you'd be able to watch what I'm doing and give me tips. Now, I think I have my settings. Hey, Remaxis is here. Remaxis says hi. And Ray Bristow says hi. Hi, Ray. Ray told me Hello, the other everyone. day that he was in the UK too. Hey, good for them. Nice to see him get yeah, and Raffles actually available as a free demo in the UK as well. Okay. I'm just checking at the moment. Okay. Cool. Because uh, you have PlayStation Plus. Seems to be growing well. You have PlayStation Plus too, right? Yeah. 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 Right, because you usually do videos on the PlayStation Plus games every month. Um, not every month. It's just you know when there's a game that I actually you know <laughs> want to try out. And... Sure. <laughs> well, if you downloaded them every month, it wouldn't be long before your your hard drive was full. So that's why I don't download. That's every true. Season. Yeah, I'm already running out of space from all the demos that I want to play. But yeah, all right. Um. I'm just I'm just messing about. I'm messing about here at County Crossing. We have 16 people at County Crossing now, so I think I'm going to make them a vassal settlement pretty quick. But uh, have you done Nuka World, Starfish? No, no, I have. I don't have any of the DLC. Okay. What I was going to do is wait for the Game of the Year version to be released with all uh, the DLC on the disc. Yeah, it has but, all of it. Um, they have Bethesda, Bethesda hasn't. Uh, released it yet, which is a bit strange because normally approximately a year after the games come out they always release a game of the year edition. Well uh, somebody was just time. telling me the other day in chat that the game of the year edition is supposed to come out on the 23rd of this month. I don't know if that's true but that's what somebody told me. Mm. Is it? I don't, I don't know. I'm so out I'm of the loop. 
Yeah, I'll have to keep my eyes open out. Eyes open for that then. Yeah. Ah, oh, then you'll be because able to the do... Se the season pass is, is full, full price, so you could buy the game, the Game of the Year version, for the same price as the season pass, so... Right. Right, so you might as well, right, get the Game of the Year. That's what I did with I Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas, I had the Game of the Year edition with all the expansions. Did you ever I play Fallout prefer... New Vegas? Yeah, I've actually still got that in my, in my games collection. I, I, I bought the Game of the Year version of that as well. Just planting potatoes. They're not straight. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Oh, I'm terrible. As, I'm just terrible in Fallout <laughs> as well. I make sure everything's straight. And... Oh dang it! Yeah, now see you're gonna make me. Take the Mickey out of me. You're take the Speaking of uh, speaking of Mickey, where's little Mikey? Where's, is little Mikey coming soon on your videos? Yep. Tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait. I love little Mikey. Um, in um, about, I think it's 4pm 4 4pm 4 UK time tomorrow. Which would be 11 o'clock my so time. 20 hours from now. Oh, so I get to get up, have some breakfast, do a little work, and then I can see little Mikey... We'll hear little Mikey. We won't see little Mikey. We'll hear him. <laughs> Cracks me up. Yeah, I, so I like Starfish Central reaction, is a, a guest today, you guys. We've, we're trying to figure out how to do the party chat. Hey, George Perez just showed up. Um, oh, Remaxis says, I think on Steam there's an upgrade to Game of the Year version. Also, hi, George. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but we're not on Steam. Starfish and I are both on PlayStation. So I don't know if there'll be an upgrade to Game of the Year on PlayStation. I don't know. Well, they've always done it in the past. You know, like with Fallout 3, there was the Game of the Year version. Uh-huh. Fallout New Vegas was the Game of the Year version. And then, so. like, Skyrim, there's been 8 million versions. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> Skyrim's got... Uh, special edition and game of the year and there was the Elder Scrolls where you could get all the games and there was yeah, and now they've got yeah, yeah and now they've got a yeah, Skyrim I don't know what VR or something are they doing Skyrim VR? I know they're doing Fallout VR so, so there's bound to be a game of the year version of Fallout 4 at some point yeah I just think they're maybe just trying to get as much money out of the DLC content as it can. That's why yeah. it's not coming out yet, maybe. Um, I'm gonna store that one. Alright, let's see. This should be this should be enough. I'm trying to get max out the food. I had it at sixty and then I stored those and now it's ah oh, dang. Come on, here you Cause I think this is gonna be it. This is going to be it, and then I'm going to have to turn County Crossing into a vassal settlement. But yeah, so what have you got? Stuff. You've got the got the Mikey video coming up tomorrow. What else? What's coming up next with that? Oh, I don't know, because I, I, I record my videos uh, weeks, sometimes a month or more in advance. So I have it written down when each video is to be published. So okay. that little mic was probably done about three or four weeks ago. I recorded that and uploaded it. Yeah, you do a lot of editing with your videos. Very nicely edited, too. I, I mean, just dazzling. <laughs> you really know how Thank to you. use that share <laughs> software or whatever it is. Oh, my gosh. And even months ago, I'd never edited a video in my entire life. Really? So everything I've yeah, really everything I've I've um, learnt has been just through trial and error. Oh my gosh! Well, no, your videos. I, that's one of the things I like about your videos is they're so well edited. 
you know, the music and the title screens and the, I don't know, just the way they're all put together. You do a good job. Thank you. Yeah. It sometimes takes as, as long to uh, choose the music for a, a video series as it does actually <laughs> making a video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and editing can take a long time. I mean, I've done a few videos where I've edited... Um, like recently, I edited out a little bit of a live stream, that that Cappy Clues thing from Nuka World, where I just wanted to have um, just the segment where I was collecting Cappy Clues edited out. So if people wanted to try to find all the Cappy Clues, they could just watch that, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. it took it took longer to edit that than it took me to do the whole live stream that it, that it was in. Oh my gosh. It takes a long time to edit videos. Yeah, it's, it's very time consuming. But, uh, it's it's worth the effort to, you know, to put into it. Yeah. Yeah, well, if you do a good job like you do and, and make them watchable, you know, yeah. Definitely. With the live stream thing, it's kind of weird because there's just... You know, I don't have the time to edit my live streams. I know some people do live streams and then they'll go back later and edit out like the best bits or whatever, you know. Um, I just don't have time to do that. I, I, if I live stream, if I ever get to live stream, I don't think I'll do much editing. I think I'll just, you know, leave it pretty much as it, as it was when it was live, live streamed. Yeah. Well, you know, there's just not enough hours in the day but I'm also not a big YouTube channel right so I can't afford to hire someone to edit my videos for me <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice but you're in the middle of like I said you're doing the uh, the Mikey video you've been doing GTA 5 stuff but I thought you kind of wrapped that up already right yeah I have finished GTA 5 now and then you're doing the crew. And uh, Project Cars. Project which is another Cars. Racing game. Okay. And uh, and then you're working on the Fallout settlements. Uh, Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2. <laughs> that's the other one you're doing. That's right. I don't think. And I, I might do some videos on Infamous Second Son as well, oh, and maybe yeah. some on Child of Light. So that would be seven different games. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize. Well, Infamous Second Son I did on a Try It Tuesday the other, like, three or four weeks ago. Before I knew it was going to be free. Of course, I already owned it because my daughter played it. But, uh... I played the first two Infamous yeah. games on the PlayStation 3 and uh, really enjoyed those, so... I played the first one on PS3. I never played the second one, but my daughter played the second one. And then she played the third one on PS4. This guy... Alright, well I think I... There's actually another one as well. There's, um, uh, what's it called? First Light. Infamous First Light. Oh yeah? It's, it's more like a sort of add-on than a sort of standalone game. Oh right. Yeah, I think she played that too. Because she told me she'd played all the games and the add-ons. I didn't know. There was one that was like a vampire theme or something in Louisiana or something like that. I don't know. Oh, George Perez says they're, I think they're releasing three game of the years. One in blue for $60, one in green for $80, and one in purple for 120 what does that mm. mean? What's what's? Uh, it's probably like uh, the the most expensive one might be a collector's edition. Oh, okay. Well, everybody's working hard out here now. Is there anyone wandering around without a job? Oh, this person looks like they don't have a job. Who's this? <gasps> she doesn't have a job. I gotta make more food. Where am I gonna fit all the food in? <laughs> but the set settlers that are unassigned will, will actually scavenge as well. Oh yeah? So, and scrap for you, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, 
What bed is she assigned to? That's the question. Even if you, you don't assign her to a scavenging station, they, they'll still generate scrap. I did not know that. I'll assign her to that bed. Well, I want them to be farming because they have to be making a bunch of food for my raiders. Oh, George is saying, I don't know if you can see the chat room, Starfish, but George says that he caught a few of Starfish's videos and they're good. Thank you, George. <laughs> no, I, I can't actually see the chat at the moment. I've got uh, I've got it full screen on my, my tablet. Oh, okay. Can you guys hear us all right? That's the question. We're doing this little video to test out the... Uh, the party chat feature on PlayStation. Because what we're going to do is, what we're planning to do is, I'm going to play the crew for the next Try It Tuesday. And Starfish is going to help me out. <laughs> yeah. Because he's played that one. And should I tell them that you'd never done a live stream before? This is your very first live stream. I don't mind. No. <laughs> Too late I was now. A virgin, <laughs> a virgin before this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very first live stream. Hey. Uh, Johnny Dead Guy says sugar bombs and Brahmin milk for breakfast. Hey, all. <laughs> hey, Johnny Dead Guy. This is a little test video that we're doing here. I have a special guest. Starfish Central is here. Hello everyone. <laughs> and I'm just running around at County Crossing doing nothing in particular. So we can well, try out our build, headsets. Build something. What's that? Go ahead. If you wanted to build something or cool. What should I build? One of the settlements. Well, I think we've got somebody we've got to assign to food, so maybe I should expand this uh field a little bit. I don't know. Or just plant more carrots. I'll just plant more carrots down this row here. That's what I'll do. Because I think I've got plenty of beds for everybody. But how am I going to get a straight row down here so that it doesn't look bad? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start at this end and aim for that potato plant right there. Uh, let's see. I went a bit overboard with uh, my beds at uh, Starlight. Oh no, it wasn't Starlight. It was a uh, Spectre Guy Island. Oh yeah? Um, I, I made 58 beds because at that time I didn't know that there was a limit on the number of settlers at each settlement. <laughs> I went a bit mad. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of disappointed to find out there was a limit on the settlers as well. I thought that uh, I was going to get to have big, huge cities. But no. Well, I don't know. I guess if you and I played on PC or had mods or something, we could probably do whatever we wanted. Not really one for using mods. Uh, okay, good. So I'm not the only one. <laughs> the only one that really interests me is the uh, I think it's the place anywhere mod where you can place an item down and it basically glues it in place. That that I would love to have. You know, and then I could decorate all my settlements up to look you know really nice. Oh yeah. Instead of it just falling through the floor or what have you. Oh, I know. That's so annoying. When you set everything up really nice, and then you come back and yeah, it's not spend there hours. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. decorating. <laughs> what just happened there? I'm trying to assign these people to food. I don't think there's any other jobs I need to put in to a vassal settlement. I mean, anything in a vassal settlement is really for my convenience. You know, I could put in some shops if I thought I would visit here and need to 
use the shops. Okay, Just have to remember to empty your empty your workshop before you make it a oh, nice right. setting. Yes. Take all the goodies out. Oh no. It just did it. It just glitched on me. No one has a job now. Oh, I hate when this happens. Uh that yeah, that's happened to me before as well. You have to put a sign in them again. Yes. Suddenly no one has pain. a job. <laughs> Got it. Just a bad I don't know why it does that. Something about a death clock tearing up the place. Couldn't stay asleep after that. That'd keep anyone up at night. Or you assign a job to one of the settlers and they they don't do it. <laughs> right, but then That's and small, then suddenly small. everyone else in the settlement doesn't have a job either. I've had this happen several times because I've done so much. Well, I don't know if how much it's happened to you, but it's probably happened to me like 20 times that I will try to, to yeah. yeah, try to assign someone to a job and then suddenly no one has a job. Got it. And then you got to go back and assign everyone again. It's like they don't want to be assigned to anything. This is so weird. I wonder if I should reload. Or sleep. Maybe I should sleep or wait. Maybe there's yeah, some I actually hope. tried that to see if that would work. And then they might auto assign themselves to, to food production. Yeah. Sometimes there's like a weird database lag or something where. Because that happened in Skyrim too. Uh, things would be really weird and laggy in Skyrim, and Bethesda even in issued a statement. It was specifically for PlayStation. They said if you're playing on PlayStation and you have a problem with quests not working or areas not loading or people not showing up where they're supposed to be or the game lagging or whatever, they said go sleep in a bed for 24 hours because it means that the databases need to process or something. So when stuff didn't work in Skyrim, that's what I would do. I would either wait or sleep for like a day and then everything would load. And... uh but I don't usually have to do it for, for Fallout. There we go. Oh, hey, Johnny Dead Guy says I can hear you both well. Good. Remaxis is telling us that if you boost your charisma with clothing, you can have more settlers than the max charisma. Yeah, that's how Fiona ended up with 25 people at the castle. <laughs> I think I've got 34 at uh, Starlight Dragon. Oh, wow. How'd you do that? Um, some of them are companions. <laughs> oh. Because I, I keep all my companions at the same settlement. Apart from Strong, I've had to move him to Red Rocket because he doesn't like it when you get in power armor. Oh. I'm getting in and out of power armor all the time. I'd, I'd lose my perk with him. So, <laughs> so send him elsewhere. So they'll... They... You can send them to a settlement on top of the max number of settlers. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Alright, so I've waited. Let's see what's happened. Nope, oh, food's gone up. Nope, food's going back down again. There it goes. That is so weird. Oh, no, it's going back up again. You, you might have to assign um, the um, ones to the stores. Yes. The vendors. I think there's one. There's the bartender lady right there. Yeah, it looks like that does, does uh, sort the problem out there. Uh, I, I didn't think to try that myself. Well, I don't know. Now the food stopped at 28. I don't know. I 
don't know what is going on here. She had more courage than sense. Okay. It just said this resource is now assigned, so it might start to climb back up again in a minute or so. Yeah. Yeah, it's climbing now. So weird. And I had one guy that was on defense. I bet he's not on defense anymore. Nope. He's gone. Alright, well we can put away this recruitment beacon because I think we've got enough people. I was just going to go with 16 people here. I just leave mine at the settlements and turn it off. Well, I had, yeah, I, well I have this weird glitch with them though. When I turn them on and off, it doesn't actually turn them on and off. Ah, uh, yeah, I've had that at um, Starlight. It's just basically, sort of like, doesn't do anything. Yeah, and well, because there's a little message that's supposed to say, uh, settlement, you know, beacon found or whatever. It'll tell you if the recruitment beacon is on or off. There's supposed to be a little message. And I don't get those messages. And like, if I turn it off, I'll still have people showing up, or if I flip it on, like there's one at Covenant that I'll put down and it says it's turned on, but nobody ever shows up there. And the light isn't lit on it either. Yeah, and I flip it on and off, you know, I'll flip the switch or whatever, or store it and place it over again or whatever, and it, it never seems to work. So I just, I don't know what's going on with the recruitment beacons, but... I wonder yeah, if I lost. Two, two Go bugs. ahead. <laughs> there is yeah. one or two bugs in uh, Fallout 4. <laughs> just one, just one usually or two. My, yeah, usually my looks. <laughs> <laughs> I just this game, but it just works. It just works. That's what that's what Todd promised us. You know, sometimes I wonder if we're all just characters in a, in a giant cosmic video game and all the things that go wrong are just glitches. <laughs> glitches yeah, in the know. programming. <laughs> <laughs> God is just a big game developer. Made up this big simulation and then wants to see what happens. I thought about that when I was playing Sims years and years and years ago because if you play the Sims game it's like you can you can tell them what you want them to do and then leave them alone to go and do it or you can you know influence events um, you can be either be really involved or you can just sit back and sort of watch everything happen and I got to thinking like maybe that's how the universe works like maybe you know when bad stuff happens, it's be not because, you know, there's no God or whatever. It's just because God was, like, at the toilet at the time and wasn't paying attention to what was happening in this game or something. I don't know. Uh, we're just all in a big video game. Alright, well, I'd say this is definitely a success. If everyone can hear us... We can hear each other. You can watch what I'm doing when I'm streaming. Then I'd say this is working as intended. What do you think? Yep. I just have to work out now how I sort of jump into your live stream when we're actually playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not answering. Let me, let me check the chat room here. Um... George Perez is making settlements with different faction themes. I like that. It's like Ooh. I had some of my settlements were Minutemen settlements. Like Coastal Cottage was actually a, like a Minuteman fort. And everyone that lived out there had Minuteman uniforms on and stuff. But I didn't make any like railroad settlements or... Well, I did. Now, now that I think about it, I had uh, Croup 
Croup Manor was my Mercer safe house for the railroad. And so I put in uh, people who were wearing railroad heavy armor and I had a whole bunch of uh, like like services inside the house like if you know for since oh they need medical help or they need new clothes or they need some new weapons or whatever so we had all of the little um stores i put inside the manor like it was people that were helping the synths and stuff so i guess i had a railroad themed settlement but i never had a brotherhood themed settlement that's for sure because i never did brotherhood stuff with fiona um and your skyrim themed settlement as well oh yeah well I, yeah out at spectacle island i had like a medieval times uh castle built out there and a western town yeah uh, like like red dead redemption or something right uh johnny dead guy is saying has, did anyone ever leave preston in concord i did that's what in this playthrough right now uh with rose rose has never been to concord Rose unlocked Concord. I think I walked past it close enough to unlock it, but she never actually went into the city and she's never met Preston Garvey. So I'm level 62 and never met Preston in the game. I'm really curious what's going to happen when I finally decide to go to Concord. I don't think he's going to like me. He's probably going to open fire on site. <laughs> Is it I'm possible to finish the game without him, though? I Do think so. Need... I think so. I don't think I need. I mean, I've I've done it so far. I've gotten into the institute, and I could destroy the institute without him. I think. What would we need the Minutemen for? Uh, because it's a settlement that needs your help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, that, that is so annoying. It just goes on forever. You are you are correct. I'm, I stand corrected. Yes, another settlement needs our help. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll never do all of that. Rose will never know the joy of helping Preston take back the castle. But uh, I think I can do the main storyline without without Preston. Johnny Dead Guy says Sanctuary stays kind of quiet. Yeah, I can't turn Sanctuary into a raider outpost. I tried. There was another live stream where I wanted to try to get Sanctuary and it wouldn't let me. Shank says, no, sorry boss, that's not on my list or something like that. Then I couldn't go out there. So Sanctuary can't be a raider outpost so long as I haven't gone to Concord and met Preston. Oh, Remaxis says, if all your armor pieces have the plus one charisma and intelligence prefix, you can get 36 settlers. Wow. And there's also some food that raises charisma as well. Mm-hmm. Great Mentats will add five. Yeah. I think every time I take Great Mentats, that's why I keep getting more raiders in my raider outposts. Um, because every time I, you know, take some, it goes up five more and then more raiders come in. George says he doesn't normally go over 15 to 18 because he doesn't like having that many people. Yeah, I do think some of the settlements don't really lend themselves to having that many people crowded in. I think my, uh, Murkwater construction site only has like 12 or 14 or something. And, uh... But like my Bunker Hill, I think I've got 24 at Bunker Hill and 25 at the castle. Yeah, the, Co the Covenant and Hangman's Alley. Yeah. <gasps> right, Sports Hangman's systems. Alley. It's hard mm. to squeeze a lot of people in there. Yeah. Well, I think my Hangman's Alley and my Fiona playthrough... Oh, I don't remember how many people are at that one. You know, I have them all written down. I have a little chart that I made for myself when I was working on my settlements. My Hangman's Alley has 18 people in my Fiona playthrough. But one of them is a dog named Killer and a robot named Spike. So there's 16. Do you think to con contact with um, Jean, the dog seller, very often? Um, not really. I think Fiona ran into him a couple of times and... Rose has run into him a couple of times. He's usually wandering about 
from what I heard and from what I've experienced, he wanders about in this north northwest corner up here. He's got like a little route, supposedly, that he walks around the roads, like right up in the northwest corner. So I've run into him at Sunshine Tidings Co-op, and I've run into him near Sanctuary, and I think I've also run into him maybe out near the uh, Ten Pines or something, but like that's... I think that's his little area he roams around in. Uh, but I, I got. I've only met, go ahead. Met him once or twice. Yeah, I've only. Fifteen hundred hours. <laughs> I got all of my dogs from for Fiona from Far Harbor. If you have the Far Harbor add-on, there's a guy there named Erickson, and Erickson sells dogs. And he has an infinite, well, I don't know if it's infinite, but like Fiona's probably bought 10 or 12 dogs from him and he's never run out. Um, I mean, he'll like, he'll sell you a dog and then you go away for a while and you come back and he'll have another dog. And you buy that one and you go away and you come back and he'll have another dog. So I guess they put that in in Far Harbor for people that really, really wanted to have lots of dogs. And uh, well, didn't the, didn't want to wait for running into Gene. Yeah. And uh, defense, I think too maybe yeah. um now you're supposed to be able if you have the oh, i don't remember which one wasteland workshop you can build a cage and catch dogs yeah. but um mr jewel smith was trying to do that and all he would ever catch were the uh the mongrels and you had to have the special uh beta transmitter beta wave transmitter or something so that they wouldn't attack you uh they weren't docile and they were not very pretty and he didn't like <laughs> he was like i want i don't want one of these i want you know i want a german shepherd or something like he didn't want that uh mongrel dog so i told him i said well you got to go to far harbor and find erickson and then uh and then buy his dogs Erickson sells pretty puppies, all different kinds of really pretty dogs, and he sells wolves, and he sells tame mutant hounds. So you can buy any of those from him and then send them to your settlements. Oh, Doc Weathers is here. I can actually watch on my PS4, your live stream, but there's um, there's a time delay, so. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm just checked in it. It's cut now. It says live. But doing it that way won't work because um, it's probably about five ten seconds behind. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think there's a little bit of a delay on the YouTube channel, too. Oh, hey, Preston Garvey just showed up in the chat room. I, I should go check the chat room again. Let's see. Uh, Remaxis is saying you don't really need Preston just for the Minutemen ending. Oh, George says... Uh, his starlight drive-in has a vertebrate landing pad with a vertebrate sitting on it. Nice. How did you do that? Is that something you can do with the regular game? Do you get Brotherhood building pieces at some point or something? No. No? No. no. It must be something to do with the DLC or, or mods, maybe. Or a mod, but yeah. No, you, you can't Never do that in, that. The, in the standard game. Uh, Johnny Dead Guy is telling Preston to go back to Concord. <laughs> George, that's so true. George says uh, he's not going to do a Raider playthrough because it seems like it's just more settlement building except with shittier stuff. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. That has been my challenge is to make things look crappy and Raidery. Yep. I wonder if I can move this. What gets highlighted? Oh, the whole thing. I like that. Okay. I think I'm gonna move this just a little bit like that. Maybe?
That one still looks good. Okay, yeah, George is using mods. Where Max is saying, I wonder if you can build... Oh, no, 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 okay, I'm sorry. I'm mixing up the chat room here. Where Max has asked, I wonder if you can build stairs up to the roof of the surrounding apartments and have more space in Hangman's Alley. And George says, not without mods, because Hangman's has a ceiling um, you, limit. You can. I've actually done it. I've only got the <gasps> standard vanilla game. Have you? You can actually build up the way, yeah. Have you uh, done a video of that yet? Um, there is one already on my channel, but it doesn't have a commentary. <gasps> but yes. Uh, oh, I want to check that um, out. How did you do that? Um, just build upwards. I think you can go up like maybe three levels. Yeah, but when I was doing it, I couldn't get... I could go up. Well, you can you can see on my Hangman's Alley uh, settlement tour. I could go up so high, and then I couldn't build any further. It wouldn't let me go up onto the roofs of certain buildings and certain areas. Oh, no, you can't go. You can't go up that high or go onto the, the buildings. Yeah. You can then um, place uh, machine gun turrets though on the. There's like some metal stairs at, at the back of it. And I managed to place a couple of machine gun turrets on there. On wow. you know, on like a level, uh -huh. level piece of stairs. Ah. Uh -huh. But yeah, no, I think that there's a uh, a build height you can't go past and you can't get up onto the yeah. Well it yeah. bothered me like in Jamaica Plains too. There's a building well, all of Jamaica Plains really. There should have been more settlement space. There's a whole city there and then you only get like you know, a tiny little bit. Yeah, because growing it. food is, is a nightmare there. Yeah. Unless you've got the DLC. Same with the water. It's, you know, kind of in food and water pumps in the, in the you know, limited area. It's not, it's not easy. Yeah. Hey, Preston. Preston's asking, who's the other guy? Oh, yeah, we should reintroduce you, Starfish. <laughs> hey, Daniel's here. Hi, Daniel. Yeah, okay. George is using mods. He says, I'm never playing vanilla again. <laughs> I'm doing good, Daniel. Uh, I have Starfish Central with me today. Starfish Central has a channel on YouTube, and he's been a friend of mine that we met through YouTube. And gosh, we've known each other, I think, since pretty much we both started doing YouTube videos last year. Uh, 11, 11 months, 10, 11 months, maybe? Yeah. And uh, he's in the UK, and I am in the US, so there's a five-hour time difference. It's getting late there where he is. Um, but we're trying out the PlayStation chat, or party chat, or whatever it is. Um, just to see if it works. And, uh, and also just, you know, because I wanted to have him as a special guest on my channel. So, I know today's Try It Tuesday, and I'm still going to be playing Unravel later. That's going to be my Try It Tuesday game, but I uh, loaded up Fallout 4 so we could test our microphones and party chat and all of that and see if it worked alright. I've just been putzing around here at County Crossing, trying to put in more food. I found, Hey, look, I've got 72 food now. That's what I wanted. we got to make it into a vassal settlement. Get lots of food going here. But yeah, this is Starfish Central. It's it's Starfish underscore Central. And he's, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, if you click on my name, Jewel Smith, and you go to my YouTube channel, he should be one of the featured channels down the right side of the page. If you want to find him that way, or you should be able to search Starfish Central. Uh, but he does Fallout 4 videos, and The Crew, and Project Cars, and GTA 5. Um, but his videos are very nicely edited. He edits and uploads. This is his very first live stream ever, you guys. He's never live streamed with anyone or <laughs> or with himself nope. <laughs> before. <laughs> you don't. You haven't. You haven't live streamed with yourself. Nope. I live stream with myself all the time. 
Yep. But that's my special guest today. And we've just been talking about just, Fallout and stuff. I'm just writing something in the chat so that people could, if, if somebody wants to check out the channel, they can just click oh, on Oh yeah, put the avatar. link. Put the link, or oh, yeah, your avatar. There you go. Say something to the folks at home in the chat room. And uh, and they can find you. There and you we were saying earlier, he's in the middle of doing a, uh, a settlement tour series. He did some settlement tours back before he had uh, a microphone, so there's no commentary. But now he's redoing his settlement tours with commentary. And he also, like me, doesn't play with mods. And he plays on PS4. Um, he does not have the DLC. So if anybody's interested in seeing... I know a lot of the stuff that I've done in some of my settlements... I've got a lot of DLC stuff and people will say like, where did you get that and what's that from and where do I get that and they don't want to they can't buy the DLC or they you know don't want to yet or they're waiting for the game of the year edition or whatever so if you're interested in settlement building that uh, doesn't have you know mods or anything you know expensive or weird or anything you can check out check out some of this but you've got so much stuff though I don't know how you do it without mods because you've got like a billion power armor suits and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. I'm like, how did you do that? Yeah, I've, I've, I've done about uh, 21 Fallout 4 tips videos on how to, to do these sort of things as well. Oh, oh yeah, that's how right. You've got all your tips. Get, yeah. Your tips videos about how to do things. And you're giving me tips. You're sitting here telling me about the settlers and the things you can do. And I'm like, oh, I never knew that. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, so Starfish is my special guest today. There you go. Oh, Daniel says that's cool. So I think uh going to wrap this up. And uh, now that we know that it works, it definitely works. And uh, I'm going to go do my Try It Tuesday stuff. So I'm thinking if it works for you, Starfish... Next Try It Tuesday, a week from today, I'll play the crew demo. And you've done... It's around, around the time that you said, about f f 5 p.m. my time. Yeah, we'll do, time. yeah. I'll do it at noon my time and 5 p.m. your time. And then uh, you can help me play that game. I'm not very good with racing games, but I know you've played that one That's quite okay. a bit. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and uh and we'll do that for the next try it tuesday so that'll be fun and now that we know how this works i may be able to have other special guests on my channel i don't know if anyone else is interested in hanging out with me uh, i guess they would have to have a ps4 and a headset right yeah yeah and allow their, their voice to be shared in the party chat settings as well so that everyone could hear them during the live stream or the video afterwards. Yep. Yeah, there's like a little setting you have to make sure that you turn it on so you your voice will be... Like, you'll still hear me and I'll hear you, but if you don't turn on the right setting, then no one else will hear you when I broadcast. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very faint. Yes. So we got to make sure we do that. But yeah, that might be that might be a lot of fun. Get some people in here to hang out with us in the wasteland or in other games. And uh, what's this guy? He's supposed in to be some some games. You, you can have a number of people all sort of talking. You know, like oh, crew, yeah. I think. Um, I don't know how many. What the maximum is? At least four people, anyway. Yeah, you don't have to have just one other person. That's right. We can have, I think it goes up to eight. When I was setting this up, the party chat um, for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gave me the option of doing up to eight people. Uh, and it gives me the option of making it public or not, which, you know, we wouldn't do. Now, see, I don't usually use the PlayStation Network stuff. That's the thing. Like, I have people who watch me on PlayStation and on YouTube and will say, hey, I'm on PlayStation, I'll friend you or whatever. And up to this point, I never bothered doing it because I was like, well, I don't ever use it and I don't, you know, 
I don't know how it works and stuff, so I, I wouldn't do it. But I guess now there's all these features and things that I didn't realize were there. So I might have to start uh, paying more attention to that. <laughs> oh, someone says hello from Russia. Hello. Hello, Russia. <laughs> it's hello? amazing how many people have any from all around the world that do actually watch your videos. If you go into analytics and have a look, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, well, and I think for me too, because of the time that I'm usually live streaming, I'm usually live streaming in the afternoon for the East Coast and the morning for the West Coast, and so nobody's watching. But then I get all these people from Europe <laughs> because for you guys, it's in the evening and you're kicking back you know, relaxing, you're not at work or, you know, just waking up and getting ready to go to school or whatever. So I think most of my viewers end up being in the UK or in the Netherlands or in Germany or <laughs> something like that. And Russia. Yeah. It's cool though. I'm, I'm fine with that. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but it seems like when I try to stream really late so that I can pick up the West Coast viewers, I get more jerks. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that, but it seems to be the no, case. Perhaps that's not too. <laughs> seems to be growing well. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if it's like that I'm getting like younger people who are out of school because I'm streaming so late. So for them, it's like you know, five in the afternoon and they're supposed to be doing homework, but instead they're going to come troll me or something. Um, but uh, it just seems like uh, I seem to have more problems when I try to stream late at night. I have more problem viewers than, uh, than during the day, but who knows? I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence. We were talking about that before we started streaming, that I've had a lot of problem viewers, so yeah. that's why I don't put the chat up. Because um, on PlayStation, I could set it so that the chat would appear on the screen, and it would appear in the videos. But if I do that, then all of the nasty comments that people make, and all the spam and everything would show up, and I don't no, want that. I just don't, don't know why people have to make nasty comments. It's, you know, it's, it's not cool for, really. I, think, I don't you know. know. All, all, ga all gamers should get along, regardless of what console they own. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why people feel like they have to be like that. Maybe they're just not getting any attention at home. <laughs> and the console wars have been going on since the days of the ZX Spectrum and Commodore 64. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the other one, too. Like, why do people have to come in and go, oh, Xbox rules or PC elite or, you know, and put down other people? It's like, why? Why, why do you gotta really like? Well, what I what we would normally say about people like that would be, <laughs> did your mama not hug you enough? <laughs> did your mama not love you? And so you have to be a nasty person. Because you didn't get enough love from your mama. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Daniel is in Los Angeles. Or is that is that LA like Los Angeles or LA like Louisiana? I think I see periods, so I'm assuming it's Los Angeles. I'm originally from Los Angeles myself. I was born there. But now I'm on the East Coast. All right. Well, let's call it a stream so I can go get to the Try It Tuesday and play Unravel. There's Rose. Oh. Th Thank you for inviting me to, to be on the live stream. Aww. And, uh, I, look, I look forward to uh, playing online with you. It, sh it should be a lot of fun. Well, thanks for being here. I'm so glad you were willing to do this and willing to have your your first time with me <laughs> and <Yep>. uh <laughs> i made sure i went to the toilet beforehand <laughs> 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 <a bit> nervous. 
and oh, it's uh, been great. <laughs> well, I hope it's been good. Uh, I hope that uh, everyone's had fun. Oh, we've already had five thumbs up. So I want to say thank you, everyone, for that. Uh, Daniel says, damn, just missed you. Well, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to come right back. I'm going to play Unravel, which is my Try It Tuesday game. This little live stream here has just been an experiment for Starfish and I to try out our PlayStation Party Chat and make sure that it was working so that we can get together and play the crew next Tuesday. Oh, just like Viking. Hey, just like says I've missed it too. <laughs> From Axis, it called the stream Rose the Cherry Popper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to do Try It Tuesday with Unravel. We'll see what that's all about. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow playing more Fallout. I'll do more than just messing about. I think we're ready to turn the uh, county crossing into an actual vassal settlement and get that done. And then I'll go work on Finch Farm finish working on the slog. I think the slog is pretty close to being turned into a vassal too. It just needs a few more ghouls and then it'll be good to go. And, uh, but yeah, so next Tuesday, I guess we'll plan, uh, you know, come hell or high water. Hopefully there won't be any more tornadoes or hurricanes or anything going on. Um, we will play the crew and starfish will be a guest because he knows how to play that game and he can explain the racing game stuff to me. Uh, but if you want to check out his channel, it's Starfish Central. Starfish underscore Central on YouTube for Fallout tips and settlement tours and GTA 5 and all kinds of other fun stuff. Lots and lots of different stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lots of different things. Lots of different games. And well, and your videos, because um, you're not doing the live streaming thing, not yet, but your videos tend to be uh, easier to watch because you edit them very nicely and they're shorter so you can you know mine ramble and go on and on and on because i don't edit <laughs> my live streams so i like watching your videos because i can watch like five or six of them and then you know and uh and get a lot out of it oh just I like do, biking do, do, do not keep my videos to around 10 minutes long but it's, it's not always possible well, some of them are like some 20 are, or 30. Um, yeah. yeah, some of them are just a few minutes long. It just, you know. But I like the way you edit them and, and break them up. Like for GTA 5, you know, I've never played that game, but I can get a really good feel for like all the different things in it, you know, by watching your different videos yeah. and stuff. So, uh, oh, just like Viking saying, I hope that Mr. Joel Smith had a good day yesterday. I think he did. I think he did. He had beer, burritos, pineapple upside down cake, and he played video games. So that's a good day for us. What more can you ask for on your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> right. There you go. So, uh, hey, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Starfish Central, for being here. We'll see him again on Tuesday. And thanks to everyone else for hanging out here with us. Um, I'll be right back with Try It Tuesday and Unravel. Bye. Bye-bye.